Okay, so um, I just did a run and recently I've been running. I still don't like running but I'm kind of getting a hang of it and hopefully this will last and sustain. Uh, but I was doing something really nerdy just now while running. I was actually listening to the National Day Ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back home and I'm going to talk about the part on climate change and hopefully it will be useful for those students who are actually studying weather and climate. Alright, so yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs> hey, so I'm back, changed out and ready to talk about something that's really important and that is yesterday's National Day Ready speech. Uh, particularly the part on climate change because I'm a job teacher. And in his 21 minutes and 59 seconds of speech, our Prime Minister Lee Sin Long focused on three main things and that is understanding climate change, how do we mitigate the impacts of climate change and how do we adapt ourselves to ensure that we are not vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, particularly sea level rise. I don't know why I'm talking so quickly but anyway, if you are a jock student, you'll be familiar with understanding what climate change is. So basically, it's a natural phenomenon, right? It's happening throughout Earth's history. But in the recent years, we noticed that with enhanced amounts of greenhouse gas being emitted to the atmosphere due to human activities, you start noticing that we are experiencing enhanced greenhouse effect, which basically means that global temperatures are on the rise. And with increasing global temperatures, we are vulnerable to many different types of impacts such as sea level rise because of the melting of the ice sheets such as Greenland as well as Antarctica. And then the second thing would also be increased frequency of extreme weather events such as tropical cyclones, droughts or even heat waves. The problem here is that Singapore is very much vulnerable to sea level rise. So why is that the case? We need to first understand that sea level rise is a global phenomenon. It's going to affect all the countries in the world, especially those that are low-lying as well as the coastal communities. So Singapore is particularly vulnerable because well, we are surrounded by water and number two, we are pretty much uh, on a low-lying land. You see, Singapore is playing a very active role on the international arena where we signed the Paris Agreement to commit ourselves to ensure that we cut down and slow down our carbon dioxide emissions by 2030. But Singapore being a small country, you will realise that all these efforts will not show significant impacts because you require all the countries to actually put in the effort together and achieve their goals. But the reality is, even if all the countries achieve their goals, climate change and global warming is on its way and it will continue to occur. It just depends on how fast it's going to occur. So what can Singapore do? Here's something that's really interesting. Now we study about seawall being a coastal protection measure. But now there's another use of seawall whereby you start building seawall offshore and then you pump out the water from behind the seawall into the sea so that you create dry land and can use it for many other kinds of developments which means if we think about this particular solution, I mean it sounds ideal but at the same time it requires a lot of planning and it requires a lot of maintenance once it's being constructed. So this means that is it possible to be implemented in all countries? Well, not exactly because if you hear the speech, you will realise that Mr Lee Sen Long also mentioned that in Singapore, we're going to invest about more than $100 billion for the next 100 years which means if you average it out, it will be $1 billion per year which is not exactly a small amount and if you think about it in the context of an LDC such as Bangladesh, a low-lying land in fact, they are situated on the river delta and they constantly experience severe flooding every single year during the monsoon season. And what are they going to do? They don't have the financial resources, they can't build the seawall. So what do you think are some of the possible impacts that countries such as Bangladesh, they have limited financial resources but they are very much vulnerable to climate change, what do you think are the solutions that can be proposed to help countries like that? So think about it and um, you can feel free to DM me on Instagram or you can feel free to just discuss with me in class. Alright, so I thought it would be nice to just have a quick summary. Of course, there's more to the speech but here are some of the key points that I just thought that would be useful and to get you to start thinking about it. So hope you had a great day today and uh, we'll see each other tomorrow. Bye!